Hey everyone, this is Sam Patterson from the Open Bazaar project. Just wanted to make a quick video today showing people what the Open Bazaar Beta 1.0 network looks like. So once you get everything started uh, and you're in the browser, you can see connected markets over here on the right. It shows you that there's 35 stores connected on the network right now. And you can just click on these stores to view uh, the storefront and the items that they have as well. So this person is not a test, they're really selling these products. It's um, raw and pasteurized nani juice from Hawaii. That's neat. Check out some other stores. Bullet pens. This person's selling pens made in Australia. that look like bullets. Interesting. That makes sense. If you were to purchase these, um, of course you can change how many you want to purchase. Um, it gives you your shipping and your total. You can put in a note to the merchant if you want. Then you would go and choose your notary. Uh, this is the third party that is going to have the, uh, the third key and the 203 multi-sig to make sure that, that you aren't um, taken advantage of. Look at some other stores here. So this person selling some organic garlic, um, climbing shoes, a chick. Oh, save save a chicken. Let's let's view that. It looks interesting. So you can help support uh, this chicken who is uh, now too old to lay eggs. So if you want to keep a chicken alive, you can do that. Um, some cinnamon, some homemade sauerkraut, some neat stuff. A lot of these are, as you can see here, default, default marketplaces. These are folks who started up nodes but didn't put in their store name. They probably don't have products or any details about their store. Um, and because this is beta, that's great. We want people to come on the network and test it out, find out what works and what doesn't work. Uh, but as you can see, there are also people also selling legitimate items as well. The nonsense store of products. Right, this person's selling a, an image of uh, French toast. Actually, I purchased that product the other day. So now if you go into um, your sales, you can view the things that other people bought from you, of course. But my purchases, you can view things you bought. As I said, here's the uh, French toast. What it'll do is tell you that you need to send this certain amount to this multi-sig address. Uh, if you click here, it's going to open your, your default Bitcoin wallet on your computer and put in this payment information. Uh, or, of course, you can scan the QR code. When you've done that, you mark it as paid. Um, the seller will then see that you've paid. They will ship the product to you uh, and then they'll put in the address that they want to receive the funds from the multi-sig. And then once you, the buyer, receive it, you mark that you've received the product if you're if you're happy with it and everything went as it should. Uh, and then that's two or three signatures and the funds will be released to the seller. If there's a problem, that's where the notary comes in. If you're looking to sell something, you can go into contracts, add a contract, put in your details. Let's say that we're selling um, a pair of headphones. Put in your product description, the price you want to sell it for. Let's say uh, uh, how much shipping, the quantity you have, the condition they're in whatever uh, keywords you want to tag it with. And then you can add an image. Once you publish it, it'll show up in your contracts here locally, but it also pushes it out to the network. So other folks will be able to view that 
product either by looking at your store as we were doing earlier with other stores or they can do it by searching. Search is something that we're still working on um, through the betas. It's not working very well right now but down the road um, that'll be one of the primary ways that people will find goods. That's where we're at with beta 1.0. We're going to be putting out new beta releases at the end of each month until the end of the year where we hope to put out the full release. So if you're interested in becoming a beta tester, there's a link in the description below that'll walk you through setting up a store like this. Um, thanks for watching.